All right, I got another launch. This time I'm doing a reverse. It's been a long time since I did this. Got my leg straps. Got it all. Everything's on correctly. Check the wind. Uh, it's almost 90 degrees from where I set up. Not quite enough wind for a reverse launch, but let's see what happens. Oh, now the wind's going the opposite way. All right, let's try that. A lot of thermals going on here. Clear these power lines before I get any sink. And the car stops to watch me die. Oh, nice and done. All right. A little gas scoot into big surge. Alright, let's see how bumpy this area is. I'm going to circle around one time. Get a little altitude. One thing nice about windy launches is you just don't have to run very hard. So today's mission is to go to a grocery store, fly there, and buy a gallon of milk. And then I'm going to deliver it to my brother Andy. And I'm going to drop the gallon of milk to him while flying. So, and I brought a reserve that I could tie to the gallon of milk so it will parachute lightly down into his hands. Or so is the plan. We will see what actually happens here. So the wind today is supposedly 8 miles an hour. Uh, by the time I, I get to the grocery store, it should be about 5, which will be good. But, like right now, you know, I'm hardly moving. So I might have to let some trimmers out to get to the grocery store. So my wig here flies about about 20 miles an hour. It's not very fast. So if you get into some, some gusty wind, uh, you could pretty much stand still. So if I let out the trimmers, I think I can get up to about 25, 27 miles an hour or something. Still not a very respectable speed as paragliders go, but just fine for a beginner like myself. Yeah, I'm pretty much parked here. When you're flying, your reference point is pretty far away, so your viewing angle is, I don't know, real acute, I guess you could say. So it looks like you're really not moving, even if you are moving at like 10 miles an hour. So right now, I'm just eking my way slowly over this freeway, highway, I guess you'd say, not freeway. I'm going to put my hands up, see if I can get a little more speed. I like to not carry over roads in any populated area. I like to just kind of get away from it. I wanted to get this flight in because the weather for like the next seven days is supposed to be about 10 degrees colder. Right now, it's right about 59, and it's going to drop to about 49. Um and down into like 40 degrees as the highs. So pretty chilly to be flying. Uh, the higher you go from the ground, the colder it gets uh, pretty drastically, uh, where to the point where you could be toasty warm when you're right above the ground, but you go up to like 7,000 feet and you're just freezing. So I'm gonna miss the warm weather, but 
we'll get some snow. I'm sure we'll get some beautiful flights. I got some heated gloves. Need to work out a better battery system because I think I my gloves are pulling too many amps, more amps than advertised. So it's just destroying my batteries. So I need to get maybe two or three batteries. See that white car straight ahead? Just pulled over. People do this all the time. They just stop and watch you. Glad I'm providing some entertainment for them. I bet in 10 years everybody will be bored of this whole paramotoring thing and will just be considered the seagulls of the sky that everybody's annoyed at. But for now, there's still some novelty. So we'll let them enjoy it. That's good. I'm going to pull my trippers in. Now that I don't really need to go. Yep, well that's straight into the wind. All right. To market, to market. To buy some milk. Look how fast I cruise this way. Just speeding along. I think I'm going to approach over the market. And then I'll come into the wind and I'll probably be just dropping about straight down so I can land pretty close. Might even be able to put it in the parking lot. We'll see. Definitely don't want to hit one of those light posts. All right. So we pretty much have a free parking lot over there. Um, but I don't want to hit any curbs or, you know, I'm still not that much of an expert. So I think... I'm going to go ahead and land on this dirt area, and then I'll just walk in. There's also this embankment, which if I go long on the driveway, really don't want to hit that embankment. It's not going to feel all that great. Wow, moving fast. Moving fast. All right, lines up here. Going to kill power. Come down right over top here. It's looking good. No cars, no cars. I'm going to put it on the pavement just to say I did. And the flare. Well, that couldn't have gone better. I'm tempted to take off here, but I think I'll go on to that bankman. They must get a lot of paramotor pilots in here because nobody even gave me a smile or asked me what I was doing or anything. Hi. Hello. Hello, how are you? Good. Oh, my, I'm purse nabbing monkeys here. <laughs> Do you want to help me out, sir? What is this? I appear to have snagged some oh, monkeys. Oh, yeah, you have. I'm really not trying to shoplift here. I thought you just dropped here. them out of the air for the kids. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> That's all, right. all right. Thank you.
Hey guys, thanks for watching. Uh, I'm now going to shoot over to my brother's house and see if I can drop this gallon of milk down to him via parachute. If you'd like to watch that video, I've posted it here in the corner for uh, you guys to click on. Um, I have the milk here carabinered in, uh, so it's not going to fall or anything accidentally. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching my video, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye.